after he takes a dying boy on a helicopter ride. Before my surgery, my mama said that before I die too soon, wouldn't you want to do something? And I said, yeah, I'd want to go on a helicopter ride. I, I liked them um, when we when we took off and landed and went around in them circles. We went over by Bay Beach and phone, I phoned my couple of classes in my class and your classmates were over yeah. there. Yeah. I didn't think they'd be jumping up and down and did everything you, like that. Did you see some of your friends there? Yeah. Now, what were their names that you saw? Lucky and Todd, Katina, and she's a girl, but... I thought I'd never have a helicopter ride, but I, just, I asked the boys because I just had one. You happy? Yeah. This is the best thing i ever done in my whole life. Little Stevie's life ended two weeks after this taping. Meanwhile, Glenn continues to do stories with handicapped kids, trying to find them permanent homes. After this story aired, Brian, who has cerebral palsy, was permanently adopted. Finally, television research in Dallas indicates that Glenn Lloyd is very popular with viewers. The federal government is giving away or loaning more than $3 million in Dallas to fix up homes in declining neighborhoods. The idea is to help deserving families live in decent homes, but our Glenn Lloyd tells us it isn't working that way. And tonight begins a four-part report on the problems in that program. City Hall runs the fix-up program and is supposed to see that the deserving families aren't ripped off. But the city isn't doing its job. The city paid $4,000 of our tax money to a contractor it hired and sent out to fix this blind man's home. After the contractor got through and his work passed city inspection, spigots flew off water pipes, holes were left for rats to crawl through, drain pipes drained on the floor, and doorways let the light and the wind come through. It looks like this program designed to help low-income families has turned into a welfare program for contractors. Glenn Lloyd, Channel 4 News. We found your observations helpful. So says Dallas City Manager George Schrader about Channel 4's recent expose of the city's inept home loan repair program for low-income people. Glenn Lloyd has details of a shakeup in the department that's come as a direct result of Channel 4's reports. Yeah, tell me about Pink this. Voss, chief of the city's home loan section, has been removed from his job and transferred to another city department. Voss was mentioned frequently by families complaining the Channel 4. With low-interest federal loans, these families are paying up to $10,000 for repairs, but their homes were butchered by contractors, picked, and supposedly policed by Voss's department. For example, this ceiling caved in after a contractor was paid for putting a new roof on the house. The job passed city inspection. In an 11-point program to immediately improve the home loan section, Dick Wilson, city housing director, says two contractors mentioned in Channel 4's report are under investigation. Cayman Collins and J.W. Jackson will get no more city jobs until the investigation is complete. Perhaps our contract specifications have been uh, not tight enough to exclude uh, contractors whose performance in the past has not been up to a good standard condition. In other words, you're going to get tough on the contractors from now on. Uh, much tougher, yes, sir. Okay. The city is also going to make contractors redo repairs that people complained to Channel 4 about. Glenn Lloyd, Channel 4 News.